was captain of a starship for 12 minutes. He saved 800 lives. Including yours. I dare you to do better. Enlist in Starfleet. Mary Jo and I cut both Mission Impossible 3 and Star Trek together, and we both worked on Alias together, so we know each other for a long time. We don't work on the same sequences. We have our own sequences that we are responsible for, from really from start to finish. I'll do a full sequence and then she'll do a, the next sequence. It's checkerboarded through the film, like maybe 10 or 15 minute sequences that we're each responsible for. And it does seem to work out. Both films seem to have worked out that we've each cut 50% of the film. We really try to have a respect for the other's relationship with JJ and other's relationship to the material. You will experience fear. Fear in the face of certain death. Pull your shoot! I think it's like playing a musical instrument. I think you have to understand the machine so you can understand your own rhythm with it. You know, like when you're playing the piano or something, you can play the same tune, but there's that finesse that kind of make it more yours. And I think that's how you need to learn to use media composer. The media composer is good for this because I feel that I don't really lose my concentration on the story. I can almost do the cuts without looking and just to try to look into those characters' eyes and think about what they're feeling and think. And I really do try to identify with them and have empathy with them and trying to stay true to who they are. On Star Trek, we used the Unity system. I need to pull up her sequences to see how they flow into mine. She needs to pull up my sequences to see how they flow into hers. You know, if JJ's sitting in my room and we're working on a sequence and he wants to look at something or show somebody walks in and he wants to show something, I need access to all her stuff. She needs access to mine. And a lot of times I'll go into footage that she's working in because I need a shot, I want to steal a shot that might work in a sequence I have. You know, oh my god, I need a close-up of Spock on the bridge, and she's got four scenes of Spock on the bridge, and maybe a, I can use a close-up. And we share all the music and all the effects, and so we have to share all the media. We've got no captain and no first officer to replace him. On Star Trek, there were these huge dialogue scenes where, you know, there'd be six characters trying to have a conversation. And JJ sometimes shot with four cameras. Script sync is like having the line script on your monitor. And if you tap on a line of dialogue, the take pops up in your monitor. And I can also check all the reactions that everybody has to that line of dialogue. So it's a great way to check all of your coverage. Script Sync is awesome. I used it constantly because it means you can go to a line and see every shot of that line in every size in every A, B, C, D camera until you go, oh no, that's the angle I want. I need that. I mean, on Star Trek, it took so much time out of the process. It's just fantastic for dialogue scenes. The thing about Media Composer is that you can be building all of these temp visual effects, which we totally did in Star Trek. We had a visual effects editor, Marty Cloner, who built a lot of temp effects, which is tremendously helpful. Usually, if it's a big effect scene, um, it's pre viz So I have a pre-visualization from whoever made it. And then I'll cut the live action stuff that I have, or where I really feel like I want to design a shot that's saying something else that maybe they didn't pre viz or the scene's gone in a different direction. I will take elements, or I'll go to the internet and I'll download a shot of space, or Saturn, or a nebula, or a moon, and call my effects editor in and you know say I want the moon up in this corner, I want you know star field here, and I want you to put a, get a shot of the Enterprise, and you know we'll cheat it and we'll move it, and you'll put it in here and it'll come across here, and you know I'll give it to him and he'll composite it all for me. I'm trying to get cl as close to the shot as I can, so um, I don't order a shot made that's going to cost, you know, $80,000 before I know for sure that it's really necessary. 
Media Composer is a tool that allows me to bring my imagination to the screen. I can get there many ways, but this is a very easy way to get there. This is so instinctual. I mean, it, it's almost sometimes as if you can make a cut before you've even completed the thought about making the cut. And it, it can happen, it happens pretty fast. It is almost an extension of your thought. Torpedoes. Emergency evasive! Fire everything!